Good morning, and welcome to more Breath of Fire 4. Uh, to start things off, I have had a bit of a cough, and my throat is a little scratchy, so if my voice sounds a little bit more scraggly than usual, that would be why. I know, I can't seem to avoid continuing to be sick. Uh, but whatever. I, today, want to go and do a bunch of crafting. Because we should now have all the items we need to do that. I went through and ground out all the items. I've got 30 of each of the craft items, which should be enough by my calculations, I think, uh, to do every possible permutation of how to put them together. Uh, I did also go back, you might have noticed a 99 here. Turns out you can just go back to the Mosweed anytime you want and just get more. They sell for 50 bucks a pop, so if you really need money, you can just sit there and earn 50 bucks a slash if you wish to. There's probably faster ways to earn money, but that would be the easiest and does not require actually getting experience. Oh, can I not talk to you from across your anvil? Okay, so... To start things off, we're just going to do three glass shards. Yes. I don't know how long this is going to take, but this is what we're going to do. We're just going to do every possible permutation of these and see what we get. And I, we may have, we've already done like two of these, but I don't remember what the combinations were that got them. So. Psychometer. Oh, uh, one other thing before I forget, although I probably wouldn't forget since all this stuff seems to be for Urshan. Uh, you might notice, have some new equipment on Urshan. Uh, so the Chopams. I figured out what you're supposed to do with them because I was grinding out the iron scraps with the dudes in that same dungeon. So the Chopans will only be in battle for four turns. After that, they will flee. Uh, the first two turns, you cannot hurt them. So only on turn three, you can hurt them, and on turn four, if you are faster than them, you can hit them again. Uh, if you steal from them, you can steal the mass driver. They can drop the Chopin plate. I actually got two copies because I fought them twice because I wasn't able to steal from them the first time. Um, but yeah, the Chopin plate seems to have a really high drop rate, uh, and that might also be because I use Charm with Nina. I don't know what it would be if I didn't do that, but, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, we do have the psychometer. Okay, so that increases wisdom. Fair enough. And lightning increases agility. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Chopin plate resists both physical and magical attacks. Defense of 50. So, it's just really good. Mass Driver has a power of 140, or 104, and a weight of 1. So, it's also really good. Uh, compare that to, like, the Atomic Punch, which was 93. Or the Power Girl Glove, that was 95. It's a little bit better. Um, but I feel like we're getting really close to the end of the game, so that very well may be Urshan's, like, best equipment number-wise. Uh, oh, that's right, I can't talk to you from there, even though you moved me to there. But let's see what else we can make, just because I'm really curious. Okay, so this time we're going to do two glass shards and an iron scrap. Yes. Okay, what does this make? got the spirit armor. Neat. Does that increase, like, concentration? I guess we'll find out. We can go through and look at all this stuff later. So, two glass shards and a bent screw. Makes also spirit armor. Fair enough. 
I wonder if two glass shards and anything make spirit armor. Two glass shards and an old tire. Makes another set of spirit armor. Okay, it's really looking like two glass shards and another thing makes spirit armor. Which I guess is fair. Glue two glass shards and a dirty filter. I'm still going to go through all the different permutations just to make sure. But yeah, that's what it's looking like. Uh, more spirit armor. Fair enough. I mean, I can always sell this stuff if I don't need it, so that's not a problem. Two glass shards and a burnt plug. Probably another spirit armor, but might as well take a look. Alright, yet another spirit armor. And last in the two item permutation, do I have more glass shards than I needed? I have more glass shards than I needed. Did I only need 20? Maybe I only needed 20, whatever. We'll do a rusty pipe. I'm not sure if it super matters the order of materials. I don't think it does. I think the order of materials doesn't matter, but if it does, then that adds an entire level, another level of complexity to this that I don't want to deal with. <laughs> if it does, then I'm not even going to worry about it. Okay, so yeah, two glass shards and anything make spirit armor. Fair enough. Now, last but not least, glass shard, iron scrap. Now we do permutations of one. So, glass shards and iron scraps... Oh, no, no. I, I, I don't have too many materials. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that it would be working like this. So, yeah, we've got enough materials. Let's see what these permutations make. Stout mail. Alright, well, we're getting something new now. New again. So, iron scraps into old tire. wonder if this will also make a stout mail. I wonder if the first two things is what determines what you get. <laughs> Defender, okay. So now we are indeed getting different things. Which is good. I like getting different things. So then we'll do a dirty filter. If my math is correct, we should go through all of the glass shards. Uh, to hit every permutation. It should take exactly 30 of each material. Another defender. Okay. We're starting to uh, hit more samesies here. And, like, so you guys don't have to keep track of this, future me can be making a note in the description. If you go read the description, I always put fun stuff in there. Uh, I can have in the description what all the different combinations make as I figure them out while I go through this in editing. All right, another defender, fair enough. Glass shard, iron scrap, and rusty pipe. So this will be the last thing we're doing with glass shards and iron scraps. It'll probably make another defender, but who knows? It might make something different. We also got a stout mail using these kind of combinations, so it's entirely possible we'll get something cool and different. Nah, no, it's just another defender. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna work you to death, old man. Alright, time to start using bent screws.
All right, Quicksilver. Neat. That sounds like it'll probably be similar to the ninja. Maybe it has actually some defense instead of no defense. I don't know. Uh, but let's do bent screws with dirty filters. Now, if you're doing this at home, I would highly suggest just looking up a guide of what different things you can make here so you don't grind out all of these extra materials and then go through all of this extra crafting like I'm doing. But, uh, you know, I try not to look that much up with this game. Uh, that being said, I did realize that I missed a fishing spot. Uh, the forest, I think we get to it through the forest in front of Fulu's tomb. I must have missed something there. Uh, because the fishing spot is right next to Fulu's tomb, and that's the only way I can think of to get to it, and that forest has always been super suspicious. So, I think we missed something there. We'll need to go back and do that. I don't know if there's anything new at that fishing spot, but I do know that we missed one there. So we'll want to go back and take a look at that. There is also a number of new places we can go now that we've gone through Fulu's tomb. Uh, and I do want to kind of go back and explore that little area that we walked into when we left Fulu's tomb. Um, because I think there is more that we could be doing there. I was, I've also kind of just been talking over this because we haven't really been seeming to get many new things out of this. Maybe we get something new here. Uh, more stout mail. Okay. Fair enough. Again, I'll have in the description what all the different combinations make. It's going to be a long description, but I'll have it sorted by what, uh, what material, or not what material, but what item you get out of it. So it'll be at least a little bit easier to follow. I might actually be throwing this into Excel first and then making a table out of it. <laughs> Grave digger. Okay, that's new. All right. Well, old tire into rusty pipe, and then we'll be done with uh, the old tire permutations. We're almost done with glass shards. Again, assuming that the order doesn't matter, which I don't. Th think it does, but I'm not 100% certain with that. Maelstrom, huh? Okay, that's cool. Now, I'm assuming that only Urshan can use this stuff, because that's been the case, but I wonder if anyone else can use, like, the spirit armors or any of these extra things that we've been getting, because if that's the case, then that would be really cool if I can equip this stuff to other people as well. Booster. Okay. We do get a number of really fun things. The saddest part is I'm probably not going to use any of these because I'm probably just going to stick with the Chopin mail. But, you know. Seeing all these different things that we could have likely gotten much, much earlier than this is neat. It's neat. It, the, the real problem is that it takes so long in the game to be able to reliably get these resources. That's the only real kicker here. Like, if they had given us a monster where we could reliably get... Uh, if they had been introducing monsters where you could reliably get these resources, like, one at a time, uh, sprinkled throughout the game after we got to this guy, uh, then I probably would have been running back here fairly often to make something new. But as it is... Uh, the morphs were the first thing where you could reliably get a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, the glass shards can only be getting, only be obtained by uh, the sand claws, and those are not reliable encounters. And then the iron scraps, the most reliable thing you can get from them is in Fulu's tomb, which feels like it's going to be super late in the game. But, oh well. So I think we've done three iron scraps before. 
I'm not certain, but we're gonna do it again because now we're starting the permutations over, just using iron scraps. And at this point, I should probably start doing some speed up if I haven't already. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Did that just say Mithril Ring? Is that an actual armor? Or is that a ring? Oh, Cupid's Lyre restores 10 HP per set, 50 per turn. Okay, so that's just, I think, an improved version of the Ivory Dice. Cool. Oh, Mithril Rig. Okay. Never mind. This is just an inferior version of the Chopin Plate. Cool. We'll look through all of the different things that we get later. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just speed up through the rest of these, and... We can have in the description what all the different combinations make for all of y'all playing along at home. Interestingly enough, it seems I actually overestimated how many items I was going to need, because I have one extra iron scrap. Yes, I needed 30 glass shards, but I think I needed one less of every item as I went down, because I... I think I actually mathed that slightly incorrectly. Oh well, doesn't matter that much. Alright, well we're just about done here. We need to do three burnt plugs. So far it does seem like the most interesting things you get are when you do three of the same item. Um, it doesn't seem like the rest of the things seem fairly samey, but doing three of the same item is what seems to get you the really special stuff. Um, which is neat. So now we just need to do two burnt plugs and a rusty pipe, and that's all we can do with the burnt plugs. Um, I am tempted to see what happens if we uh, start going backwards to see if the order does matter. But if the order even does matter, then I'm still not going to do anything about it. I might look some things up, because it looks like predominantly you get stout mail when you do two of the same item. That seems to be predominantly how it works. But we'll do three rusty pipes and see what the last item is. And it's a water rig, as I might have expected. Okay, real quick, I just want to do a test since I have a bunch of these. Let's do this first, then this, then a bent screw, just to see what happens. I bet it's going to be another stout mail, but let's find out. Yeah, another stout mail. Okay, I'm going to do one more test, because we didn't do any... Uh, Oh, no, I had things in the correct order. I'm a dum-dum. I had the correct amount of things. Uh, this plus one that I keep getting is because I should be doing two rusty pipes into iron scraps, two rusty pipes into bent screws. Wow, wow, I'm a dummy. I am a digital dummy. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Okay, well, let's do this, I guess. Whoops. Yeah, it comes from uh, the double up, and then you go back one. Wow, can't believe I forgot to do that. Hydro armor. Yeah, so we do get some interesting... We can get some interesting things. I just was a dumb... I was a dumb. Um, okay. Well, let's do this, I guess. I'm not going to worry too much about it if I miss something. Again, I'm probably not going to use all of these items anyway. But yeah, I uh, can't believe I didn't realize that as I was going through these. Flame armor, yeah, okay. Uh, dirty filter, 
into... Oh, I can't even bring the old tiger back by one on anything. But I can do this. This would be the next, like, thing I haven't done yet. What do we get? Oh, it's just another stout mail. Okay, well, fair enough. All right, um, I'm gonna do ro two rusty pipes and an old tire just to see what happens. And I'm gonna run out of materials real quick. Oh, it's just another maelstrom. Okay, so nothing particularly new. Um, let's do two dirty filters and an old tire. Isn't that what I just did? I thought I did that with a bent screw, though. Maybe this is what I just did, and I'm just going to be... ...royally out of luck, but who, uh, who cares at this point, honestly? I'm just using up these items in ways I hadn't done it before. Yeah, another stout mail. Most of the time, you're just gonna get a stout mail, it seems like. Uh, is there any other combination I can do? I can do two burnt plugs into a rusty pipe, which is something I've already done, but I guess I might as well. Would be cool if he told you what it was gonna make, if you've already made one before, but oh well. Yeah, this will just be another stout mail, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've used up all of our items. We goofed a little bit there, but nothing... Nothing too terrible. Let's take a look. It did make exclusively weapon or uh, armors. So we got another set of lightning. Uh, I think that was from from three bent screws. I don't remember. Uh, chill pan plate is what we're probably going to keep. So the psychometer uh, increases wisdom by twenty. That's pretty neat. Spirit Mail increases Wisdom by 10, but it gives you a little bit more defense. Not as good a trade-off as the Psychometer, I don't think. Stout Mail, Strong Armor, but that's all. Okay, so yeah, it's just kind of meh. Uh, cast Barrier at the beginning of combat. Okay, so that's better. Cast Speed at the beginning of combat. Eh. Grave Digger can generate Eruption when counterattacking. But Urshan doesn't counterattack. The three people that counterattack are Ryu, Sias, and Kray, our three melee attackers. They're the only ones who counterattack. Okay. Can generate Storm with counterattacking, can generate Fire one counterattacking, can generate Jolt. Okay. The Mithril Rig is. Basically just a heavier version of the Chopin plate, uh, and it doesn't have the bonuses to it. The heavy armor is just not as good as the Mithril Rig. There are Kalkin, increased chance of critical hit, which is neat. Uh, the light armor... Okay, so this is like the lightning, but it gives you a little bit of defense. But overall, I think the lightning is just better. Earth rig, strong versus earth, strong versus wind, strong versus fire, strong versus water, resists water, resists fire. Okay, so there was probably a wind and earth armor I could have made as well uh, with these. So that would be using the. I'm going to bet. Uh, if you did two old tires and either a bent screw or a glass shard, you would get the uh, earth version of this armor. And if you did two dirty filters and a glass shard or uh, bent screw, you would get the wind version. That's what I'm going to bet uh, for anyone who wants to get those armors at home. I'm not particularly concerned. Um... But yeah, so that's what we got. Cool. That is it for crafting. And we are already at time. 
Uh, so I guess I hope you enjoyed the crafting episode. I know we're not making a whole lot of progress here, but we did a bunch of crafting. And this has been something I've been putting off for a long time. And I kind of figured this would be its own episode. Uh, in our next episode, we are going to go back to... Oh, by the way, if you want to get the moss weed, you can now teleport there. This is where this is the little island where you got the moss weed. In our next episode, we are going to not go back to the tomb. We're going to go back to the forest again. Because there's something we missed here. And I'm going to figure out what it was. But I will see you guys then.